G'day YouTube and welcome back to another video. My name is Gruntly and in today's video, we will be diving into a new reserve concept. All you will need to do to join us on this adventure is to sit back, relax and enjoy. The map that we are exploring today is based in Southeast Asia, more specifically Cambodia. I wanted to take you somewhere that you might not have thought Call of the Wild would go and maybe open your eyes to the beauty and adventure that awaits you. I would think that a map in this region definitely fills a void as it seems that we have reserved on most other continents apart from this one. With that being said, I want to welcome you to the Animite Ranges. This reserve holds so many different animals that you probably have never even heard of and a level of natural beauty unmatched by most of the world. Hopefully you too will want to check out this interesting location. The Animite Ranges is a large area filled with different biomes that are ready for your exploration and is home to some of the hardiest animals on planet Earth. The elevation in this reserve slowly rises the further north you venture. The south is home to a river system surrounded by agriculture and lush grassy plains. This flatness does not last long, however, as you find that the calm fields turn into a thick, harsh rainforest with towering trees and knee-high grass. Your visibility in this area is definitely at a harsh disadvantage, but something tells me that your favorite animal to hunt is hiding somewhere amongst all of this vegetation. It is also in this thicket that a waterfall that has only been seen by a few locals and even fewer tourists flows. It is said to be the entrance to the home of a long lost civilization. But once you finally push through that consuming forest, you reach an elevation where your visibility starts to clear up and the towering trees are now a more comforting size. This is an area where you will find some of the larger prey animals on this reserve. You should keep in mind though that you are not the only hunter on these hills. If you can keep safe, you will definitely be telling everyone about the wild beauty that is ever present here in the Anamite Ranges. With a new map comes new animals. This map is no different, and you'll be pleased to know that the map has eight different species and seven of them are animals that we have never seen before. Starting off is a familiar bird, the pheasant. This animal is found throughout the central and northern regions of the map as they love the tree cover and suitable feeding ground throughout. The next animal is the class one Indian peafowl, where diamonds are typically found around level three. These gorgeous animals are found throughout the northern and southern regions of the map as they love the space to display their plumage as well as some vegetation that they can feel safe hiding in. There is only one class two animal on this map being the muntjac. This deer is not scored by their antlers, but instead their teeth. These little guys have teeth similar to that of a vampire, which makes it a trophy that any dedicated hunter will look forward to finding. The biggest of these animals will reach level three. The muntjac is usually encountered around the southernmost part of the map as they enjoy sticking around swamp-like areas and when the river is flooded, it is a paradise for these vampire-like animals. The first class three animal in the Animite Ranges is the Malayan tapir which is an animal that can reach level three, just like the peafowl. These animals can usually be found in the center of the map, as it is where they feel the most safe and they can hide from predators within the thick rainforest. The second class three animal is the sun bear, which will also become the smallest bear in Call of the Wild. This bear only reaches a maximum of 65 kilograms, which makes it considerably smaller than the black, brown, and grizzly bears. This doesn't make them any less of an animal, and they can still reach level nine like the other bears. These sun bears love the thick vegetation in the center of this reserve, but are sporadically seen further north as well. Now this animal right here is bound to be one of my favorites on the map. This animal is called the Babirusa, and it is a four tusked pig. They are super unique and are something that I would definitely love a trophy or two somewhere in my lodge. The Babirusa are scattered throughout the map and can be pretty much encountered anywhere. Diamonds of this species are almost exclusively found at level five. The largest animal on this map is the gore. This buffalo-like animal can weigh up to a massive 1,500 kilograms and can reach level nine. These huge animals need a lot of food and are often either found around the southern and northern fringe of the central forest and throughout the southern river system. You will usually find them in herds as well as they feel safe in larger groups, especially from the last animal on this list. And that last animal is the tiger, the second big cat ever introduced to Call of the Wild. And it's just like a lion in the sense that they can both reach level nine. They can even be found with an albino fur type. I would definitely take care when hunting in the deep forest as you never know when the hunter could turn into the hunted. The outposts in this map will need to look like they fit the part. And I think that I have found a couple of good examples that I'm sure the developers at EW could take inspiration from. The same goes for lookout towers in the reserve. Whereas this style of tower could easily fit that purpose. Anyway, that has been my concept video for a Call of the Wild map set in Southeast Asia. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you want to see some more Call of the Wild content, you should definitely hit that sub button. Thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.